Well, here we are in the Bay of Islands, and that's some islands, and that's the wharf where I'm going to be getting the boat a bit later. And over there is the place where I got the coach. And now I'm going to be walking to there's a walk through basically a mangrove swamp, I suppose you call it. And uh, it's about a two hour walk because I've got, now oh, it's 12 now, and my uh, boat doesn't leave till five. So I'm gonna go have a walk to these treaty grounds where they find signed a famous uh, pact with the Maori. And then I'm going to uh, walk along by the walk there. And there's a boardwalk and uh, yeah, should be uh, two hours to kill and then one hour back walking along the road. So hopefully later I'll show you the Bay of Islands as we're going through onto the boat. But uh, just enjoy the view in the meantime. So from my understanding that tree line at the bottom by the water there, that's the, uh, that's the mangroves that I'll be walking along. There's a boardwalk. So uh, let's see what it's like. Well, here we are, start of the Haruru Falls walking track. Um, so, yeah, sort of. Well, I forgot to say that the actual main attraction is the Haruru Falls, which is. Haruru is uh, Maori for uh, big noise. Um, although, apparently, the noise only tends to be big when. Um, there's been a lot of rain, so it might not be that much big noise at the moment. So it goes to the falls and then goes through, as I say, mangroves. So, although at the moment, I'm going through a golf course, and so we'll see how it goes. 1.5 hours one way. Let's see. Oops, first problem, I can't get through with all this on me, so I'm going to have to take my backpack off and get through. It's almost uh, tropical, I would say. Basically those traps, as far as I can understand from my research, to trap any mammals that were introduced by Western settlers, things like ferrets and stuff like that that will go for the kiwi, who are obviously a bit like the dodo, flightless, um, so they can't really escape from mammals, which they are not their natural predators, mammals not really existing in New Zealand until the Europeans arrived. So that's one bad uh, X on our mark. But at least the government are trying to do something about it now. So if you look through there, you can sort of see the mangroves swamp down there. I just came up to a lookout actually, slightly better than the view I showed you a minute ago. 
Anyway, you get sort of a bit more of a sense of it here. And if you look through that direction there, I'm not sure if you can quite see with this. Unfortunately, this doesn't have the same function really, but uh, and it is the one which is a bit rubbish. Um, but uh, that's where the boardwalk is through that way. So that's where I'll be going, coming out over there and then going across. Eventually, come to the road. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a fair bit of wildlife noise. Mainly crickets though. Um, one slight correction to what I said earlier. Just saw a trap that said it was stoats, not ferrets, that killed kiwis. Um, but yeah, it's been quite nice so far. Slightly weird thing is that uh, so far, I'm, well, let's see, 20 minutes in, it's mostly been bordered by a golf course, which slightly takes away from the ambulance, but uh, still, it's a nice walk. As you can see. So as you can see I've just hit the two kilometre mark and for the first time I've actually seen some people. Two lots of people when they all said hi and I said hi back so that was nice. I've been trying to capture footage of uh, some wildlife. I actually managed to take a picture of one bird uh, just a minute ago. Tried to take a picture of another one uh, just before that, but um, it just evaded me. And now it's just started to rain slightly. Luckily I'm mostly under the trees around here, which is good A for rain, in case it starts to rain like it is, and B you know, if it's really sunny, which it was earlier. Uh, so, protection for both the elements here, at least for the moment. So I'm not sure actually how long two kilometres is as far as the trap goes. I don't know if that's two thirds away. I think it was 3k. I'm not quite sure. I've done it's just over just over half an hour I've been on here now. So, supposedly, according to the sign, it's an hour and a half one way. So. Presuming that is it probably is three three K, so the other people coming the other way that I saw must be uh, must have gone one way and the other. Although there is a car park at the other end, so I don't know. Maybe they were uh, maybe they're going in the other direction. As you can see I've just got to the boardwalk. Uh, you probably can't see from here, but there's uh, some sort of bird sitting in the middle of the bridge. I took a picture of it with my camera, but as I say, I don't bother zooming in on the GoPro because it only has a digital zoom, so there's no real point. But uh, you'll see the picture. Um, there is some sort of bird I can hear just there. I don't know, maybe if I can get it with my camera once I walk onto the boardwalk. Um, old matey there will probably fly off in a minute. It did start to rain very briefly, but it was literally about five minutes. Luckily, since I'm just approaching uh, away from the boardwalk. Oh, I just saw a fish. In fact, I expect that's probably what that bird's looking for, a fishy. Because uh, they were definitely jumping out the water there and he is looking like he could be ready to go any minute. He is uh, primed. He's actually sort of walking this way very slightly but I'm sure any minute now he'll probably spot me and run off. hear some weird sort of popping noises which I'm not quite sure what they are. If it's wildlife or, or what? Oh, I mean I assume it's 
wildlife some description but I can't quite work out what it is. It may be the mud, I don't know, you can see it's sort of mud flats, as I say, marsh sort of land. Uh, not exactly the dead marshes, but um, it's starting to rain slightly again. But anyway, you get me out of As you can see, we are now on the mangrove swamp, yes. As I say, mangroves. Um, apparently this is quite rare that there's actually a place where there's like a boardwalk that you can actually go along a, a mangrove swamp. And what I was saying a minute ago about some of the noises, I think it is actually the mud. I'm not sure if it's the water reacting with the soil or, or whatever, but every so often you just hear this uh, one over there just a minute ago. Uh, and the sun is actually coming out, even though it is actually still raining. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Well, I've sort of almost come out the other side now. I came from uh, that direction into the mangroves just there, as you can see. Um, and the Hururu Falls are somewhere over there, just around the corner, supposedly. So I'm nearly there. Uh, it's uh, been just over an hour and 10 minutes. So yeah, it probably will be about another 20 to the falls, uh, so pretty much bang on, and then I just walk by the road back to Paiha, Paiha, I'm still not sure how to pronounce that, anyway, uh, to then get the boat, well, probably have a drink and something to eat, and then get the boat, but uh, that's the general idea anyway. sound of it. I don't know if you can hear that. We are coming up to Big Noise or Haruru. I'm trying to think, it's not automatic, but it's when it sounds, when you say what it sounds like. I don't know. But anyway, that's what Haruru, Haruru means and what it sounds like as well. You can sort of see it through there. Now, you should definitely be able to hit them. So it's a fairly big noise, as I say, apparently it's, it's a bigger noise, it's a bigger noise when, uh, when it's been raining, but uh, it's still a fairly big noise. No, they're not particularly massive uh, depth-wise, but it's quite wide. Well, I didn't see any kiwis on my on my walk to the uh, falls, but uh, I did see some other birds and some other birds that don't really fly. Chickens. 
although, strictly speaking, uh, I think they're mostly cockles. And they're walking this way and I don't like that very much, so I'm going to go.